Kasserl's ultimate performance player, I think, is, is, is a great idea. Fans always debate who's the best player and then take that a little bit further and go, if you could take the best bits of all the world's best players, what would you end up with? And so what we did was kind of took that idea at face value, applied a bit of science, technology and expertise and decided that we were going to create the ultimate performing player for real and turn it into a life-size 3D model. I think everyone should like to have him in uh, their team. Castrol has uh, produced the perfect player. They take different parts of uh, the skill in the player uh, and put it uh, into one. It's a dream for every manager. If you had a player like him, uh, I think the value is, uh, well, above the roof. There are very few clubs who can afford to buy him, that's for sure. <laughs> It gets fans more involved, it lets fans see what they can't see is actually going on in the football pitch because although you think you know a player, you don't know how far he's running, you don't know how many times he's touching the ball, you don't know how many sprints he's done, uh, you don't know how many headers he's won or tackles he's won. So I, I think it gives a different insight to the, uh, to the fans and um, I think it's great that uh, it's actually been brought into the game for fans to see that. Castro's use objective data and performance analysis to create the ultimate performing player, a player constructed from body parts of the best players in the world. These players were chosen for inclusion because they have outstanding skill in a particular area. Studies have been done of the best players and, and, and ranking the best players before, but to actually pick the constituent parts of the human body and, and find the player that represents that section and combine those to make an ultimate player is groundbreaking. I'm a big admirer of Ronaldo, I think, because of his ability with, with the football, the way he dribbles at people. He has a fantastic first touch. He's a regular scorer of, uh, of goals and a regular scorer of great goals. For Messi, is great because the way he played and he dribbled and he scored with his left foot is something absolutely amazing. And we had it really to, to put him into the, the attribute players. He always seemed to enjoy his football, very quick. And considering that he wasn't really a centre forward when Arsene Wenger brought him into, uh, into English football, um, he was having such a, a tough time in Italian football. Um, so he, he, he loved the Premier League and the Premier League uh, loved him for obvious reasons. It took about six months to build it. It would have been quite easy to do this thing just digitally, create it virtually. But actually we thought there was real power in creating this as a real 3D model and if we were going to do that we wanted to do it properly. So we worked with two of the modellers who used to work for Madame Tussauds, the world famous Waxworks exhibition. With the Ultimate Performing Player we relied heavily on reference and the reference came from all kinds of sources. It came from magazines, from paper cuttings, from the internet so that we can cross reference certain aspects of, of what we were trying to create. Initially we used Photoshop to put together different features. We needed to include uh, Xavi's eyes for his vision and we need Puyol's hair for his leadership. What it surprised me the most was the head, how well he fitted together. We never thought he would look as good as he did. It's such an accolade that so many people all over the world are going to be looking at him and uh, I hope they get so much joy from him as we've had making him. I think Lionel well, Messi has the best left foot. For the left foot, I would pick Messi. Lionel well, Messi? Basically, because he's basically his foot, he's got the best right foot in the world, he's got the best shot in the world. Paul McGrath's head. Stephen Gerrard. I think he's got the best right foot. Michael Bollock's right foot, the hammer. The player with the best right foot in the world is Beckham because his delivery is always 100%. The ultimate performing player, there's no price for him. The speed, the skill, uh, he's a goal scorer also, then for that one there's no problem. I'm, I'm really pleased with it and I'm ready to do the check now. Castro's ultimate performing player is going to start, start his journey around the world in, in Latin America and South America before the World Cup. He will be in South Africa during the World Cup and then beyond that, frankly, we're going to take him where the world's fans and, and the world's media demand that there's an opportunity for him to be on show. And importantly, through some of the social networks like um, Twitter and Facebook, we're actually creating an application that means fans can literally create their own virtual ultimate performing player, challenge their friends, you know, and stimulate debate that way.